This is a review of the two gasless MIG welders I have used. Now, to be clear, I am not an expert welder. In fact, I am the furthest from it. I am a beginner welder and have so far made a C table, a propane tank platform, a small metal gate, and two tables with metal frames. That is the extent of my experience. So, as a creature of convenience and as someone na baguhan palang sa welding, my perspective is coming from exactly that of a beginner's. And what to me are the features of these two units that appeal to me as a beginner. Let's start with the Lotus because this is actually the first unit I was able to try and is the machine I have used for most of my projects. I really liked how easy it was to start using the welder. First of all, I went with gasless MIG welding because it was the kind of welding that appeared to be most beginner friendly. Basically, you load up this flux cord wire into the wire feed mechanism inside the unit and it comes out of this gun tip. You clamp this down on your workpiece and then you're good to go to start welding. The Lotus welder has just two dials and requires you to set the thickness of the material you are welding as well as the speed of the wire feed. You set the thickness of the material based on these letters. I usually just put mine at D because the manual says that's about the range for 1.3 to 1.5 mm material which is usually the thickness of material I work with. For the wire feed speed, I keep mine at about 2 because it is what has worked best for me. So there's a bit of a learning curve of course as you figure out your style and pace as a welder but overall a fairly simple and straightforward machine. Really, no complaints. But then I tried the powerhouse gasless MIG welder. And I think what sets this welder apart from its competitors is some of the additional creature comforts that make the whole experience of setting up and using your MIG welder even simpler. Now, as a beginner, this is incredibly important to me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this hood that covers the wire feeder. Notice how the hinges on the Lotus are on the side while for the powerhouse, it's on top. I love that it was designed such that when you lift it up, there's a place for it to rest and it stays up. It's a seemingly small but very much appreciated design feature and I'll tell you why. Oftentimes as a beginner, you will find that you have pressed your gun too long and your wire comes out too much. I actually knew that you can back the wire back in by opening the hood and twisting the spool counterclockwise but because it's a two-handed operation to do this with the Lotus because of the hood, I would often and just snip the excess off. I love that with the powerhouse, you can lift the hood and have it stay up while you back up your wire all with one hand. Like I said, it's a small feature, but very much appreciated. Next, check out the lock for the flux cord wire. Now, neither brand here is using exceptionally high quality materials. They're both just plastic locks, but the powerhouse one was designed such that the spring is attached to the lock, which means you are less likely to lose the spring. Of course, you could also argue that with the Lotus, the spring is also more easily replaced. Last thing about this area of the machine, check out the powerhouse. It has a dedicated wire feeder button under the hood. This means that you don't have to press the trigger to push the wire through. This might not be a deal breaking feature for some, but I certainly appreciated it. This next feature though might be the clincher for many. Unlike the Lotus, the powerhouse welder has only a single knob to adjust. All you need to do is set the thickness of the material you are welding. The welder takes care of figuring out the wire speed for you based on the thickness you set. Now, for a beginner welder, that's a pretty cool feature. It's certainly one that I really like. Of course, I would imagine as you begin to get better and more proficient at welding, you might want the adjustment options available from the Lotus model and maybe even more features and adjustments available from other models from either brand. If I had some knowledge on welding already and considered myself more than a beginner welder, but still fairly new to the welding world, then maybe I would prefer the additional adjustment options of the Lotus. But if I had to choose a unit as a first time buyer and beginner welder, I would probably go with the powerhouse for its simplicity.